what an anticlimax to an historic series win uh, winning in australia test series for the first time in 71 odd years is massive uh, it just opens up the floodgates uh, and and kind of as far as i see it it's monkey off the back as well uh, because apart from australia and south africa india's won everywhere else uh, but another tick mark australia uh, box checked Uh, but just talking about the last test match uh, i think there are a lot of positives just from the last test match forget the whole series just from the last test match let's talk about it let's start with kuldeep yadav uh, i'm i'm not saying this just because he's got five wickets uh, in the very first innings that he uh, that he's bowled in australia but the process the way he's got it if you just look at the five wickets out of the five one was a full toss two of half volleys uh, uh timpain and uh, nathan line of half volley so i'm not just going to get into the five wickets but the process in terms of uh earlier on when you look at kuldeep yadav obviously he's not the quickest in the air but he was kind of predictable with his trajectory his leg spinners uh, uh were you know a little slower with a higher trajectory uh the googly was quicker in the air and flatter but if you look at it uh, look at the trajectory in this game it was very unpredictable you know his googlies were a little more flighted was slower uh, in the air uh, his leg spins were quicker he started bowling a couple of those quick deliveries which were over 80 km an hour but predominantly the pace he did not vary a lot it was between 75 to 80 km but the trajectory he did and and that was one of the things which i thought uh, was new when i looked at kuldeep in this innings the other uh, new thing that i saw kuldeep was earlier on his line was also kind of predictable you know the the googlies that he would bowl uh, to the right hander uh, would be from the stump line the leg spin would be outside the off stump so the ball would come into the right hander but if you look at this innings he he was very unpredictable with the lines he bowled he, he bowled quite a few googlies uh, googlies to the right hander which were pitched outside off stump and same with the leg spinner at one point in time he was bowling with a leg slip uh, and a short leg uh, for his leg spinners which he was pitching on the stump uh so couple of things which was very very impressive he's become that much more uh, unpredictable now uh and one more thing which was uh, which was quite of evident which uh, soon or later the batsman will pick was his googlies he was uh, bowling with a cross seam across the seam uh rather than you know over the seam uh, the usual uh, the grip that he has for the leg spin uh but that was cool the the other important positive was uh, rishabh pant first wicket indian wicket keeper to score 100 in australia uh leave, leaving that aside what i really liked about that innings was the maturity that he showed earlier on uh, remember the 100 that he got uh, in, uh, at oval in england it was predominantly one dimensional you know it was more like him in his fifth sixth year but this innings there was somewhere he was playing somewhere in between not that uh, the zero he got in england of 28 deliveries or the 100 that he got uh, in the fifth gear but uh, this innings he was somewhere in between i thought it was very much short uh, if you look at uh, his boundary percentages uh, the 250s and 100 that he's got before this 100 uh, around 66% of the runs came through boundaries but this innings the 100 that he got he, till the time he got to the 100 there was only nine boundaries which is 36 runs 36% so he he played the field obviously the field was spread out and someone i mean obviously you can say the bowlers were tired you know nothing to lose super pitch to bat on but for someone like rishabh pant that was more of a reason for him to go at uh, the fifth or the sixth year but he did not that just told me that he's getting more matured and that's what you want to see from a 21 year old he is a uh, he's a work in progress he's not a finished product what you want to see every game that the graph is going up and going northwards and which i thought was the case in the innings uh, hanuma vihari again someone who looked really comfortable uh, yes after the last test match and his issues with the short ball the way he got out in both the innings uh, he was peppered with quite a few of them but i thought he handled it really really well same with mayank agarwal uh the first uh, session he was peppered with short ball and he looked uncomfortable but post lunch when he came out to bat again he had answers 
for those questions. He was playing his cut shot. He was playing pull. He was more aggressive with his uh, uh, with his back foot play. So, if you look at all the youngsters, and 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 this Test match, there was so much positive. I'm not even talking about the whole series. I'm just talking about the last Test match here, and that's heartening to see. Even though it ended in a draw, but as far as I'm concerned, it was as good, if not better, than a win.